Hey guys, welcome back to NY Sports MC. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, give me a little thumbs up if you like the video, comment down below. The Jets just finished up with their three fourth round picks. Um, we do still have three more picks later today. Just figured I'd lump these all three together. Um, we started out the day going running back from Florida, LaMichael P. Ryan. I think this is um, a decent pick for us. He's somebody that can be a nice complimentary back. He's not really necessarily great at any one aspect. Just a well-rounded running back who can um, be counted on as a backup running back committee type guy. Do I see him eventually taking over for Le'Veon Bell if Le'Veon Bell does not come back after this year? Probably not. I would see him being more as part of a running back by committee. Um, but still a very solid pick for us in the fourth round. He was very productive at Florida. So, and we need a backup running back to pair with Le'Veon Bell and Adams. So I think that's a pretty solid pick there. I know I, I kind of had us picking a running back at some point in this draft. So uh, we could go with that right there. Our second pick in the fourth round, we went with a little bit of a shocker to some people in quarterback Morgan from FIU. Looks like we're liking a lot of Florida prospects this year. Um, but I, I'm not mad about this pick. It's a pick that we kind of had to address the backup quarterback position at some point. We saw what happened last year when Sam Darnold uh, went down with Mono. Not only were we not very competitive, we could barely get first downs. So um, definitely needed to address that backup quarterback position. Uh, funny thing is Darnold is so young that he's like a year younger than Morgan. And Darnold's already got two years in the, in the league. But um, I don't see him pushing Darnold for the starting spot. Hopefully he could just be um, an upper echelon backup, get him on a rookie deal so that we know if Darnold had to miss a game, a series, a snap. It's somebody that we can actually kind of rely on and count on. He does have some potential. He's got a big arm from what I've seen. Um, so I wouldn't be too upset with the trade, uh, with the pick. You got to think about it. We picked up these two extra uh, fourth round picks just by trading back 11 spots. And we still got Denzel Mims yesterday. So I like the, the fact that they're taking a little chances. They're, they're trying for some positions that we really need. Um, so I'm not upset about it. We did, like I said, we did accumulate the extra pick. So I think you can go out and, and do something like this in that spot. And there are rumors that there was a lot of other teams that were interested in high on Morgan. Apparently, he tested out very well at the Senior Bowl in the Combine. So, um, there were teams that had him on the radar. So, I think that's why we went with him where we did. I heard the, the Patriots, the Steelers. There was a few teams that were definitely interested in him. And then the, the last pick, a little bit of a shocker, we went back to the offensive line. with Not that we went back to the offensive line, but with who we chose is where the shocker comes in. Clark from Charlotte. So I'll be honest, I had to do, do a little bit of research on him, read a little bit about him. Uh, I'm intrigued. I tr when it comes to offensive line, I am going to trust Joe Douglas until proven otherwise. He was a collegiate offensive lineman himself. Um, any place that he's been to has really stressed and emphasized the offensive line. So I'm going to trust him until proven otherwise. But from what I saw on, on this guy and what I was able to read online, he's got real nice size. Um, 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 310 pounds or so. Um, real nice striking, long arms. They say the thing with him is kind of his movement, um, which makes him more likely to become a guard than a tackle. Um, definitely not like a left tackle prospect, which obviously we don't need anymore because we have Mekhi Becton. But um, this is somebody that can easily slide into the guard play, potentially right next to Becton, have a pairing for the next decade. Um, he plays with attitude. He plays with anger. He brings that swagger on that offensive line that you really like to see. So, hey, guys, Jeff fans, what I want to just say is let's not just um, assume and, and go to the negative and say that these are reaches, these are bad picks, just because they're not the people that we've heard of this whole time. Um, we have a very strong scouting staff, um, well-respected people around the league, so we got to just trust these guys. Um, from, like I said, from what I've seen, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these picks. They're not people I thought we were going to pick coming in. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I had to do some research and read a little, up a little bit about them, but I understand why. And they're going with these guys who have the ability, have high ceilings. Yes, they may have lower floors than some of these other people, but they're trusting their scouts. 
They're trusting the abilities that they're seeing in these people. And they're trusting their coaches to be able to develop these guys. Uh, Pollock is one of the better offensive line coaches in the league, so hopefully he gets in, gets these two guys, and, and coaches them up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. There's still quite a few players that I would like. I'm kind of sold, man. I really want Isaiah Hodgins um, in his fifth round. Hopefully he lasts that long. Hopefully we take him. But excited about what we're doing. Excited about the direction of this team. I think Joe Douglas is putting himself in a position to be successful in the long run. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, jet up.